Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will run from September 22nd through the 28th. Okay, so I pull the cards for the sake of time. Let's get into it. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. It's a free way of um, supporting the channel, so please do so. Okay, all right. So the situation for this week is the Prince of Pentacles. Nice. So we have an offer coming in, or there's one being being extended from you, Aries. But there's something here that you you. You got off the horse with, you got back on it. There's something you've done consistently off and on. Um, this may be the time that you may want to bring it to culmination, to its real fruition, to um, maybe they're like the Ten of Pentacles, taking this this offer and turning it into gold. It's, it's something that maybe you finally rest in the energy that this is it. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to see it through. Um, it's like I said, it's something that you could be off and on, off and on, and that's why it's taken so long to come to fruition or culmination. Or this could be you and someone else, off and on, off and on. Now it's, you know, maybe now it's it, it is that you guys will have something solid and stable and build upon it. The advice here is the King of Swords. Okay. The advice here is to be very objective, be 10 steps ahead, be sharp, be witty, be smart, be calculated, be fair, and be just, but definitely be um, be the person who, who, has, who can see both sides of this thing, whatever it may be. The advice is also know who you're dealing with. This may be another person know that this person is all of the things that I just named. Um, this could be someone who does really skilled work too. This is someone who's very sharp, they're sharp. Maybe there's not a lot of emotion here. And that could be the advice also. Or there's a person you're dealing with who doesn't really deal in the emotional realm. Do they have emotions? Yes. Um, what makes them very fair and just and able to make really um accurate decision uh or judgment is because their intellect and their their emotions their heart have been married and balanced so well and so meticulously that they they just their their mental capacity is just it's just you got to be sharp when you come to the to king of swords uh, though he or she is very fair, they're very sharp. And uh, they don't have a lot of, though it's an air sign, they don't have a lot of words. Not the king of swords. Um, he or she, this, this is a he for me, could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Typically, this is Aquarius or Libra. Uh, Speak the truth because they already know what it is. And they won't. This is the one thing about the King of Swords. They don't take the time to. You know how some other people will call you out on your BS. And tell you you're lying. Or you're not telling them the whole truth. Or you're you know omitting things. The King of Swords is not going to. A lot of times he or she. This is a he for me. Is not going to do that. They don't allow you the rope to hang yourself. And then they just kind of dismiss themselves because especially if they they're already done with the situation and they're done mentally first before they're done physically so because you think you have the opportunity to talk to the king of swords you think that there's still opportunity no this person may already be close to the opportunity uh they just you know they want to give you the option to speak whatever it is, your piece. Um, you could be dealing with someone like that. This could be a lawyer. You could be consulting your lawyer. They could be very methodical and, and um, calculated as that. The outcome here is the high priestess. You could be dealing with this is an Aquarius. You could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, 
Pisces, but if we're talking air sign, this is an Aquarius. This may be a situation where, like I said, you've been off and on, off and on the horse. Is it? Is it? Like there's a fear of someone committing to one position and because there is fear of commitment They haven't gotten exactly what they wanted But it looks like someone is getting very distinct uh, And clear on what they want with the king of swords here This could be in the realm of career and finance also We have the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck She's all about entrepreneurship doing her own thing being charismatic outgoing uh, organizing the people, knowing people, talking to people, being friendly. Um, it looks like someone, the outcome is having the plan of action here, secret plans. Everyone doesn't need to know what you're doing, Aries. You need to learn how to reserve some information for yourself. You need to learn that um, there's two very real options that you, you can pursue. You need to commit to one. You need to put 100%, 110% behind one position. And then you can see some real fruition, some real manifestation. You see how I said there was something you were doing. You were getting off and on the horse. This could be in love too. If you like the person, if you love the person, if you want to be with the person, even though there might be some issue here, some stagnation here, uh, Commit to it. If this is your person, stop saying no and yes and no. There might be some un unforeseen, unfortunate event, something, some revelation, something comes to light here. Um, it shakes someone's foundation. It shakes someone's home. There could be children involved. Could be, yeah, could be a Piscean person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone who is really balanced in regards to their, their emotions. Yeah, it shakes their family life. Um, what is this? Give me two more cards and we're going to close this out. Someone goes after what it is they are separated from. It could be the Queen of Swords. We got a counterpart here. There could be like a separation here, a temporary separation between you, Aries, and someone else. And now there's someone coming back and saying, okay, let's let's make this work. What is the, the Prince of Pentacles? It's who or what is the Prince of Pentacles? Right, someone felt the loss of your friendship. Someone felt the loss of your friendships. This is getting over um, the loss of burdens too. Could be the loss of friendship. So you were off and on with a friend, maybe an air side friend, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is typically Aquarius. Um, your your hope, your wish is for you know to come back around and speak to them. Yeah, put a, do away with a difficult time that you guys had together and maybe you weren't happier times you miss their friendship and or they miss yours or if this is love and romance someone missed there's an element of, of of missing you you missing them someone being very cold and calculated you being um guarded uh but both of you desiring to either be back in in each other's lives What's the high priestess? Right, you both desire to be friends with them. It talks about a, a friend here, a loving friend. Um, you, you desire to offer your cup again in friendship or in love, um, at least. Um, yeah, some of you are waiting for the opportunity to reach out, to really make long-term long plans in regards to maybe this person, if it's in love or friendship. Yeah. Um, Aries is just like something was off and on, off and on for years, months, weeks, I don't know. And um, now it's back. It looks like somebody wants to do away with the past and what the past was and what it had to offer. They really start over. Someone is, um, someone feels like someone gives really good feminine advice. Also, someone's really in tune, inclined. 
leaving. Yeah. Some of your people could be leaving. Some of you could be leaving. Leaving a household, a marriage, a job. There's loss here. Self-care and a need to take care of yourself. Okay. Um, here's a, the three of pentacles from another deck. Someone wants to rebuild the friendship. The Someone's doing really skilled, high-end work also. Someone is really trying to build towards their foundation. Someone is learning. Someone is getting a lot of recognition in regards to the work that they do. Uh, also, someone may want to reestablish, rebuild. Um, they have to let something die so that they can have what they really want. Yeah, there's a no answer. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the no answer. What's the no answer for Aries this week? What's the no answer. No. No energy, no effort, no time. No charisma. Maybe in a situation where there are problems. Where this is a situation where someone's given to two parties. There's no balance. Aries, you need to get balance. Yeah, maybe in a love relationship or in some business uh, partnership. Uh, your habits, your everyday habits, you need to be balanced in those and your work ethic. Yeah. All right, Aries. So we got lots of messages here. Career, finance, love, and romance. There's no balance within a love situation. There needs to be uh, equality here. There's already problems here for someone else. Somebody is trying to release and then go into fulfillment. Aries, if you feel like you need your own personal reading or you have a question or you want to spread just like this situation advice outcome, Click the link below. It's $9.99 to get the situation outcome, uh, situation advice outcome reading where I do a spread just like this for you uh, via email. Uh, go ahead and book that for yourself if you have questions or book you a longer reading. The links to the website are below. Aries, know that I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.